Hey guys, so today I am doing a first impressions video on the Pacifica Plushes Liquid Mineral Lipstick and that's a little bit of a tongue twister <laughs> but I have not tried it yet and I'm really interested to see like how the texture of it is and everything so I thought I would wait for making a video about it and so let's get into it. Okay, so this one is... is Plushes the shade name? think so. Oh no no, the shade name is Breathless, so Plushes is like the line I guess. Okay, so it's still in the wrapping, so I'm gonna like open it if I can find where the wrapping like perforation is. Oh, I found it. And you guys know that I love Pacifica because they are 100% vegan and they also do not test on animals, which I really appreciate. Oh no. My nails have gotten so much longer, but at the same time it makes things way harder to open. Alright, there goes that. So like right off the bat, I like their detailing. Oh no, does it have scratches already? I just opened it. Oh man. So there's already like a little bit of scratching and, but I don't think that's for me. I think it might have like come like that. There's like little dents in the detailing, but that's fine. Like when I throw it in my bag, it's gonna get a lot worse, so I don't even care. <laughs> I really like that they have the gold detailing. It's really cute, and a lot of their stuff has that sort of like gold detailing thing, so I think it's like a cohesive design choice. And like the graphic designer in me is just like, I love it. I love a cohesive theme. Okay, <laughs> so all right, let's try it out. I'm just gonna like swatch it and test it out, you know? Okay, so here is the applicator tip, and it's a little bit slanted and it makes it a lot easier for me to apply because if it's just like straight on I just it's not as easy you know that's just me I guess or maybe it's just like an aesthetic thing that I think it looks nicer I don't know okay so huh, let's try I always get so nervous with like trying on new lipsticks for like swatches and stuff because it's like I don't know don't mess up I don't know I don't know why I'm like this okay so here we go swatch time I don't want to like make too much of a shadow on my face So it's a little bit darker than the bottle, at least to me it looks that way, and that's fine. I'm sure that I'll like it anyway. Okay, so here we go. Time to test it out, and I don't have any lipstick on right now. Obviously, I just have a little bit of chapstick, so here we go. Oh, it smells really good. It smells like, I don't know, fruity? I like it. It's way, way shinier than I expected. Did I think this was matte or something? Because, oh my gosh, this is so shiny. Never bought such a shiny liquid lipstick. I don't know why I just thought it was matte, I guess, in the store. That's so weird. I always buy matte liquid lipsticks, but I guess this is just like a regular liquid lipstick. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think it looks nice, I think it's just like not really my style because I like matte liquid lipsticks, so I'm just kind of like, like, I don't know, there's a lot of shine. Uh, do I have like something to blot with? Let me get a little tissue paper to like blot with and then, what is this? <laughs> Let me get a tissue paper and I will be right back. So I got a little paper towel that I can blot with, but for now I think it looks pretty good, like without any lip liner or any blotting, I think it looks pretty nice. Super shiny though, which might just be me not being used to it. So I'm just gonna blot it real quick. Yeah, the shine definitely goes down if you blot it a little bit. Yeah, this I can work with. It was too shiny before. I thought maybe that was just like the formula, but it seems like, no, you just need to blot it a little bit. So I guess that's what it was. I mean, like, I think it looks better now, but really like, I feel like it's really nice because I'm probably gonna even forget I'm wearing it but like there's some other ones that I have used that they just you apply them and they just really dry out your lips and they look nice but it just oh it just is so bad it just no 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 so this one is not like that because I have tried those ones and those ones are so annoying because they look so good but they like dry out the life of your lips you know so I like it so far just like first impressions, you know, but I think it's nice. A little bit of it is coming off on my finger if I touch it, so it's not like fully locked in, you know, how some other ones are. And for the consistency, like it really doesn't run so far because I've tried some other ones that are like very creamy and very thick um, liquid lipsticks 
And those ones, I get that like they don't budge because they're like very thick formulas, but this one is like really liquidy. Not like water liquidy, but like you guys saw like when I applied it, like you know what I mean? So it's really more on the liquidy side, but it doesn't move. So that's good. So I think like if I were to wear this for like the whole day, then I would probably just wear a lip liner first just to make sure it doesn't run or anything like that. And let me see if it, yeah, it looks more true to the actual bottle at this point, I think. Because before it looked darker, so I thought maybe it was just like the formula reacting with the air or something, I don't even know. But sometimes that happens where like the bottle is one color and then the like actual shade is a different color, a little bit darker usually. So I think that you just have to blot it and then it seems like it's spot on. I mean, it actually seems like you could wear it both ways. If you really wanted that extra shine, you could just like probably, I guess you should blot it and then like do a second coat. That's what I would do. Just so it's like kind of in between and it's not like you have an excess amount on your lips. You know what I mean, you know? So yeah, I think it looks nice though. I like it. And I haven't gotten any on my teeth yet, so that's a good sign. That's always a good sign. I actually really like this color. <laughs> I mean, I'm the one who bought it, so it's like, yeah, I'm gonna go towards like the neutrals or like the nude colors. Because the way that I like to do my makeup is just like, I like a pretty low-key lipstick and then I like very dramatic eye makeup. That's just how I personally like my makeup. I know that there are some people who do the inverse. They like, like, just mascara and then like red lips or whatever, you know? But this is just how I do it, so I like it, and I think I'm probably going to be wearing this more often. You guys are going to recognize which lipstick I'm wearing, which is like, you'll know, you know. Although I do have very similar lipstick shades. I love lipstick. Oh, it's so fun. Although I love lipstick, I just can't get myself to use like the actual real like fancy lipstick. I call it fancy lipstick, but it's just like regular lipstick, you know, like I just... I use it every once in a while, but it's like not really my go-to thing, you know? I just really like liquid lipsticks and I will never understand why. So I forgot how much this was, so I literally just Googled it and apparently this was $10, which is like not bad, you know, because it's like, I like the color. So far it's doing pretty well. It's $10, so that's pretty cheap. So if you guys have $10 and you're looking for a new lipstick, if you want to try this one out, then you know. I don't know like the full effects of like how long it will last because you know this is a first impressions video but like so far I'm pretty impressed I just have to say this is the one in the shade breathless and so far I like it and I always like their packaging it's very cute I just love this brand in general I think they're a pretty good price and they have like pretty good message so I'm just like a fan so if you guys are interested in that lipstick I will leave a link down below where you can get it which is just like Ulta or I think they also sell it at Whole Foods Anyway, I will find a link and put it down below. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, everything is at Amy Crouton. Also, if you want to support me on Patreon, you can click there. My patrons do get early access to all my videos, just like throwing it out there. <laughs> also, if you want to subscribe, you can click there. And if you want to check out my other videos, you can click there and there. And also, don't forget to hit that little notification bell. That way you get push notifications every time I upload. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!